become your best self. In the early 90s, behind the scenes, a generation of New York producers were in stealth combat to become the best beatsmiths in the five boroughs. For the producers, the tools of war lay where hip hop started, in the records. But with the sampling police on them and a the drive to push their sound, they needed to dig deep into the crates and they find all the vinyl they need to kick off an East Coast rap renaissance in a dusty old building near Times Square, the Roosevelt Hotel.
level of records always mattered. I mean, to the average person, it's like, oh, wow, records, what, you know, and all that. But, like, to us, it's something big, for real. It was secretive and competitive, and it was expensive as fuck, too. <laughs> but you knew that you could possibly find that next record that could change your career.
what made that era so unique. The key was to come up with the most obscure loop. And I think the more you become enlightened, the more you start digging even more. You want other artists you've never heard of. As you dig, you learn about musicians. We're always curious about credits, like who's playing on this album. Then you start looking for certain instruments, like the sounds you want, you know, anything that had excitement. What were very hunted albums at the Roosevelt? I can't tell you. I can't tell you that. Listen, there's something on everything. You understand? It depends on how you hear it and how you're laying it down with the beat. Mm-hmm.